Uh, today, we also want to celebrate that one of our pastoral residents is uh, taking a new step in ministry, uh, Jenna Sullivan, who baptized Audrey this morning. Jenna, will you come and stand in front of us here, please? And I'd like to ask your lay committee if they would come, uh, your Sunday, the Labyrinth Sunday School class that has been with her, if you will join her along with Jerry. Uh, this is a, a wonderful day uh, for us to celebrate Jenna. Uh, you should know that she is uh, going to be the pastor of a church, and I can't say too much about that yet because they are voting today officially, but it's all but, <laughs> yeah, so, so pray for her, but you'll be very excited about this news when we can actually share it, and we're, we're thrilled about it. And on this, the last Sunday of Pride Month, we are proud of you, Jenna. We are so proud of you and proud that also uh, on a day when Jonathan could preach and we could bless you, uh, that we could celebrate the fact that you have been among us for these two years, a time uh, when we have been coming out of COVID and you have been coming out as well, but coming into yourself and helping us come into ourselves at the same time. Because you have helped us take what was in theory just a vote and make all means all really true in our pastoral staff and ministry and in our life together. And we celebrate your presence among us and the gifts that you have given to us and that you have, are leaving uh, for us as well. So thank you uh, for your presence among us, for what you have taught us and for what you will take from us and give to others at the same time. We're proud of you and we celebrate you this day. Now, Catherine Keller uh, is coming from your Sunday School class, and she is going to lead us in this litany of blessing before we share gifts. As a church, we gather today to give thanks to God for the journey with us of Jenna. We are grateful for the family, friends, teachers, churches, and mentors who shaped her on her way to us. Through two years of ministry, we have sought together to follow Christ and to be Christ's church in this place. You have walked among us as a sister, rejoiced with us, wept with us, and sought God's truth with us. Now we prepare to let go, to send forth Jenna with our blessing, praying that she may be salt of the earth and light for the world as she plants new seeds of God's care in other places. It was God who made the seed grow. The planter and the waterer are nothing compared with God who gives life to the seed. For we are laborers together with God. The Lord make the divine face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. Let us pray. Loving God, we come to you in prayer today with thanks for the time that Jenna Sullivan has spent among us. We are grateful for the way she has made us each feel seen and acknowledged for who God created us to be. We are better for her bold example of leaning into who she is and her joyful spirit, open-minded curiosity, and poignant words of truth have changed our congregation for the better. We celebrate her friendship and leadership that she has shared with us during her time at Wilshire, and we ask that you would bless her as she enters this next phase of her life and ministry. Give her wisdom as she prepares to lead her congregation in your name. 
Fill her with your spirit and your love. We thank you also today for a safe and successful youth choir tour this past week. We are grateful for the opportunity for the youth in our church to minister to others through service and song, growing closer to others and to you, God. Mingled with our celebration and gratitude today is great anger, sadness, and fear. We ask that you hold us close in the wake of two major Supreme Court decisions that will make all of us, but especially the most vulnerable among us, less safe. We rejoice in the cooperation that allowed for new gun control legislation to pass, but at the same time, we fear the implications of other gun control measures having been struck down. Hold us in our despair as our rights to control our own bodies have been revoked. Direct our holy rage towards actions that will make a difference. Soften the hearts of our leaders that they may make decisions out of love of people, not love of power. Remind us that we are each your beloved children and our bodies are sacred. God, we also ask that you would be with those whose lives have been ravaged by the earthquake in Afghanistan this week. Heal the sick and comfort the grieving. Be near to those who have lost everything. We pray especially today for those in our own community who need your healing. Jim, Polly, Michael, and Bill. Comfort Perry, Anel, and Bob as they draw nearer to you in hospice care. Be with Steve and Joyce Harris on the death of Steve's mother, Geraldine, Mary Wentz on the death of her husband, Wendell, TJ Burke and Monica Burke Petty on the death of their grandfather, Bill, and Brian Rollins on the death of his brother, Steve. Hold them close to you in their time of grief. We also rejoice today with Britt and Brandon Clarno on the birth of their son, Theodore. Grant us strength for the days ahead and stamina for the work to come. Amen. And now we have gifts to give to Jenna as she departs from us. This is a joy for us to be able to share with you. First of all, Jerry McKenzie, who is our Associate Director of the Pathways Program, is giving this certificate from the Pathways Program of your uh, successful completion of your time with us. And uh, you can hang that with your ordination certificate and other degrees, and we'll be grateful uh, for our time together, and I hope you will be each time you see that. And then uh, the requisite burp cloth, uh, which is uh, a tradition of Wilshire uh, with our uh, baby dedications, and we, uh, that is embroidered, of course, with a Celtic cross, which is uh, symbolic of our kind of faith here at Wilshire that is life-affirming and nature-affirming as well, and we hope that you will take that and use it uh, with joy. And then uh, Katie Murray is bringing you uh, one volume of the Feasting on the Word commentary series, which is a 12-volume set you'll be getting, uh, and you'll be able to use that. It follows the lectionary and helps you in your preaching preparation, and I know you'll appreciate that as well. Your Labyrinth Support Group uh, is giving you a ring today. Uh, this ring is a yellow gold cross statement ring and I wish I could uh, blow it up to show everyone, uh, but uh, you can maybe put it on and then hold your hand out and people can walk by or something like that uh, and see it later. But uh, I know that will be something that you will enjoy taking with you as a gift from our congregation uh, that will continue to bless you. Uh, thanks to all of you for your support of Jenna. The Labyrinth class has been uh, really kind and generative to her during these years, and we appreciate your leadership uh, in her life. 